Greetings to Madam Cynthia and our classmates. My name is Mariam Khadija Binti Malatif and my group will be presenting a garden by Leila Burke guidebook. This is the table of contents of our guidebook. First, the introduction, theme and title, interpretation, poetic forms and structures, further discussions, evaluation of the poem, and the conclusion. Introduction Leila Burke was an English children's author, editor, and play specialist who was passionate about empowering children through literature. As you guys can see from the small pictures here, it's her children's book series called Nippers. Hi, my name is Tarani and I'm going to present about the poem's theme and title. So the first one will be the poem explores the desire of a young girl to have her own garden. Focusing on the beauty and the luxury of nature. The second one will be the title, A Garden, is related to the theme as it focuses on natural, animals and the outdoors. The third one will be the girl and musician playing with cats, roaming trees and singing in the yard. The fourth one will be, the poem highlights the importance of our order, symmetry and artistic rules in the garden and how it can be a place of relaxation and creativity. The last one will be it is also discusses it the importance of working together to protect the environment and achieve inner serenity. Hi, my name is Dania Farhana and I am going to explain the analysis of each stanzas. So right now I am going to read stanza 1. If I should have a garden, I know how it would be. There would be daisies and buttercups and an apple tree. So for the technical details and sounds, first is rhyme. The first stanza follows an AABB rhyme scheme. Garden and B rhyme and buttercups and apple rhyme. As for the meter, the stanza doesn't precisely follow a meter. It has a rhythmic aspect partly because of the way the words flow naturally. The number of stressed and unstressed beats as well as the length of the lines vary. Uh, for the figurative language and meaning, the speaker describes their dream of owning a garden in this verse. They paint a picture of the garden they want, complete with daisies, buttercups and an apple tree, using straightforward expressive language. The imagery-based figurative language in this passage alludes to a serene, ideal scene. Moving on to the next stanza, which is stanza 2. A dog will chase a ball there, a bird will sit and sing, and a little cat will play with a little piece of string. The technical details and sounds are rhyme. This stanza also follows an AABB rhyme scheme. Dare and string rhyme, and sing and play rhyme. As for the meter, the meter is not strict as it was in the preceding stanza, but the lines have a natural and rhythmic flow. For the figurative language and meaning, the activities in the garden are still being described in this stanza. It gives the garden life by personifying it. The garden appears lively and energetic thanks to the dog chasing a ball, the bird chirping, and the cat tinkering with some thread. The personification used in this metaphorical language conveys a feeling of the happy, peaceful existence that exists in the garden. Next is stanza 3. And in the very middle, I'd only have to stand for ladybirds and butterflies to settle on my hand. Uh, the technical details and sounds are rhyme. This stanza follows an AABB rhyme scheme as well. Middle and settle rhyme and stand and hand rhyme. For the meter, there is no strict meter like the stanzas before it, yet the lines have a flowing rhythm. Uh, for the figurative language and meaning, the speaker explains the primary focus of the garden in this last line. The term in the very middle highlights the notion of the notion that the garden is the center of beauty. For uh, an example of exaggeration is when ladybirds and butterflies land on the speaker's hand, implying that the garden is so alluring that these delicate animals are drawn to it. This use of metaphor emphasizes the notion of the garden as a mystical, tranquil setting. So for the next slide, which is poetic form and structure, the three quatrains, four line stanzas in the poem A Garden, all follow the same AABB rhyme pattern. 
as a free verse poem, it doesn't exactly follow a certain meter or pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables. Instead, it presents a conversational and natural flow. So, in conclusion, Leila Berg, a garden uses straightforward, evocative language with a reliable rhyme pattern. For the most part, the figurative language uses imagery, personification, and hyperbole to paint the vivid picture of the perfect garden, one that the teeming with life and beauty. The three quartains that together make up the poem structure add to the overall harmony and a balance of the line. Next is further discussion. Simple and enduring. Leila Burke's A Garden. Leila Burke. Next is further discussion. Simple and enduring. Leila Burke's poem, A Garden, recounts the speaker's fantasy garden. It paints a vivid and picturesque picture of a, of a garden full of many natural elements and activities that bring about feelings of calm and joy. Let's assess the poem's style and technique, strengths and weaknesses. So move on to the style and technique of the poem. It is simplicity. The poem use, uses a plain, straightforward approach, a wide spectrum of readers including youngsters may access it because to simple language utilized. Second one is imagery. A mental image of a garden complete the daisies, buttercups and an apple tree, a dog, a bird and a tiny cat created by the poem. The imagery used to aid uh, readers in a visualing the situation. The third one will be rhymes and rhythm. Each stanza of the poem uses the rhymes, seems, A, A, B, B, and C, C, D, D, maintaining a continuous rhyme, seems, it's it to a tone's general likeness with the web C. The piece of soothing and flute reflecting the peaceful garden scene that is being described. The last one will be personification by attaching behaviors and traits to creatures like dogs pushing, balls and bird creeping, the poem personalizes nature. This gives the poetry a fun and inventive element. Hi, I am Nurin. So today I'm going to present about the poem strength. So for the first one is evil emotion where the poem is successful in conjuring feelings of tranquility joy and nostalgia. It takes readers to a tranquil and lovely garden where they may establish a connection with nature. So for the second point is childlike wonder. The poem perfectly expresses a child's amaz amazement and creativity. This perfect coexistence of creatures, plants and insects speaks to the kid in all of us. And the third point is conciseness. The poem benefits from its conciseness. Um, it is simple to read and understand since it captures a whole and beautiful scenario in a few brief stanzas. So for the witnesses of this poem, uh, there's only two witnesses of this poem actually. Um, the first one is lack of depth. Uh, where the poetry deliberately avoids exploring difficult issues of feelings. This is a positive in terms of accessibility, but if you're seeking more in-depth um, and thought-provoking stuff, it can be a downside. And the second weakness is predictability, where the poem describes uh, numerous components of the garden in a predictable sequence which might make it seem formally and devoid of surprises so as for the conclusion of of this is uh, Leila Burke's poem A Garden is a charming and plain poem that shines in its straightforwardness and capacity to evoke a tranquil and whimsical environment its ability to arouse a sense of innocence, awe, and closeness 
with nature is its main power. It might not be as enticing to people looking for deeper or more complex poetry though. Um, so, uh, the conclusion of this whole guidebook is to sum everything up. This poem has taught us to reach for the stars by keeping your dreams through painting. Just like what the speaker does and we are also encouraged to imagine things that makes us happy as the source of positivity and joy. Uh, so the last one will be the online resources and references that we use for this school, which is uh, stated in this slide. So that's all from us. Thank you.